Okay. I will take that. He was just vibing? He was. And so was I. Diagnoses are standing up as fast, or st uh, stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying cause is showing up in the environmental analysis, food stuff, or radiation levels. I admit I'm at a loss. Versus says he and Kine are working on the hypothesis, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our ZOG therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those systems are old and they need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down there, but nothing else seems to help. It'll be fine. Maybe not fine, fine. Level two, security clearance required. Kind of sad that stuff doesn't mark on your map. I feel like that'd be really useful if it did. Is a mocap suit as uncomfortable as they say? I thought it was really comfy, actually. Very form fitting. I looked fantastic. Mm hmm. Has Co explained what he was mocapping yet? No, no, I, I can't unfortunately talk about it until they announce it. And then I have lots to tell you about. It was a very cool trip. So I'm already at level two doors and I never got level one. That's a little concerning. Is that normal? Did I miss something? normal. Okay, cool. Great. Are you allowed to say when you can announce it? Nope. The, the ball is completely in their court. They'll announce it when they announce it. Girl, make up your mind. That looks so good. Oh my Jesus. I want to find a look here. One might even say that was breathtaking. Out. Out with you.
Can I can I grab back on to stuff? Chat, no, it's fine. Chat, it's fine. Everything's okay. No, it's great. Actually fine. It's okay. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chad is like, Hur! <laughs> it's gotta be, is that the only loot in here? I just ate, by the way. Yeah, my bad. Anything in there? Nah, looks great, though. If you just hold down left click, I think it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Because that constantly reorients you whenever you move. Thank you, Sharp Shadow. No sign of her yet, but I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. This game looks exactly the same, literally. Remake, more like a re-money make. Well, no question this was a re-money make, but um, this game absolutely looks a lot better. There's some QOL changes. This, in my opinion, is the definition of a remake. Um, it's it's on a better graphics engine. Everything looks better, but it's really the same game. It is the same game. It's just like Demon Souls, the Demon Souls remake. So it's you know it's not trying to make Dead Space one better in terms of like mechanics and gameplay and all that kind of stuff. It's just making it better in terms of bringing it into the current day and age for first time players. So a remaster? No, a little bit different, but similar. Oh God. Oh, good. Is he gonna come all the way in here? Dude, that voice sounds just like the one from X4. And I'm here for it. Ooh. Does this game have only one type of enemy? No, the enemy types grow as you play through the game, but there are a few types of enemies that are like in the whole game. Yeah, every, everyone has different definitions, but the one I'm most used to and the one that, that I feel is the most accepted. The it shook the whole ship. One I'll check it out. A remaster is where you take the original content and bring that to a current day and age. A remake is when you take the original content and put it in a new engine, but keep it the same. So if they had taken the original content and just put it in widescreen at 60 FPS and, you know, Maybe gave it like one or two tiny graphic enhancements, but it's the same base product. That's a remaster. It's like if you take a song and remaster it. You don't change the song. You just make it sound better, you know, so that kind of thing. Um, where a remake is like Demon's Souls and this. Where you take the original content and you literally remake it in a new engine. Yeah. But it's all the same base content. Oh, shit. Uh... 
But again, those remake, reboot, remaster, remake, all, all that stuff has like, you know, different different people have different definitions for them. There's not really like, you know, widely accepted definitions for those. Everyone kind of has their own kind of spin and flavor on it. That's just mine. I personally call this a revengeance. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that one, chat. What about FF7 Remake? Funny enough, FF7 Remake is a sequel. But that's a different thing. And before you even talk about that, you kind of have to play through it and understand the story. But yeah, really, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is Japanese devs trolling Americans and, and NA speakers, yeah. What? Okay, that now see now somebody just asked a really interesting question. What about Resident Evil remakes? Those are like the Resident Evil games. You could almost argue are reboots, but they are so similar to the base material. But in the same way, they're different in some important ways. So it's kind of tough. They they kind of fall in between. Words are dumb. Yeah, a little bit. God. Took one step out of the captain's nest and Chen, that thing, he almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. By the way, guys, I really do appreciate that some of you are writing like well thought out text blocks about what a reboot, remake, and remaster is, but we'll, we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> That's a great conversation for a cozy stream when we're all just chilling. Appreciate y'all. That got me. Okay, I apparently can't do that with those. I can totally shoot off a leg and stasis and kill the big guys, but not the little guys. They have like more HP than the big guys. It's a little weird. Good show. Hey, Noah with the five bomb. Good to see you, Noah. Hope you've been well, buddy. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Hope you and uh, the family are doing well. That's where I'm supposed to go. Is this where the guy slammed his head into? Yeah, it is. Oh, I will. Give me one second. Get some water, chat. <sighs> hey, Hasidic Pure. How you doing, dude? Hmm. 
Sweet, sweet hydration. Mm. Oh, somebody earlier said, are you going to be playing Deliver Us Mars? And yes, I am 100% playing Deliver Us Mars. I think it'll be on release, but we'll see. Uh, can you people drink tap water where you live, Chad and Co? Uh, I live on uh, an area with a well, so untreated, no. I, I can't drink water directly out of my well, but we do have a water treatment system. So that I can drink for sure. But the tap water around here, if you're closer to the cities, is, is generally pretty good. Yeah. Wells are kind of hit and miss. Depends on where you are. That being said, there are a lot of areas in the States where uh, people have like uh, filters on their taps or use like Brita filters or, you know, filter, filter uh, containers. Depends where you are. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Still feels just as good. Do I have to shut off the quarantine or just kill a bunch of enemies? I don't trust this, Chad. I don't trust this.
dead. Woo! Okay. Quarantine lifted. Thanks, Space Mom. Ew. Okay, dictation's up. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Thanks. It's just so hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to you again. He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar, it's all about heretics. Every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Dr. Brennan, sorry, I did something happen. I had a patient who I tried and her son tried so hard, but she, I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. Sounds fine. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. No! Nope. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Not Tracking again. Greek signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Greek location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Surgical log. Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable. Yep. Finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death itself. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange. When my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without Kain, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefit of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology, without EarthGov here to seize them first? Oh, jeez. Cool. That shelf is sus, I agree. Stasis pack schematics. Nice. Okay. 
We have no nodes. I think we got a pretty good amount of stuff to sell, though. I'm gonna find a store. Is this still a rerun? Uh, yes, Shades, it is. 